I want to share an exciting event that's coming up here at Impact Family Church. It's an opportunity for you and me to bring our friends to Jesus and to see them born again. It's going to be called Friends Sunday. It's going to be held the last Sunday in October, on October the 27th. We're going to host it right here at Impact Family Church. It's an evangelistic outreach to bring our friends to Jesus. And I use the word friends loosely, okay? Bring people to the Lord, amen? To invite people to church is a specific day in which we all want to bring at least one person to church. Preferably someone who's unsaved or unchurched or both, right? Someone who doesn't normally go to church, someone who's not serving the Lord, someone who's unsaved, unchurched. I'm going to be preaching an evangelistic message on Sunday, October the 27th of 2024. And uh, we're going to have an altar call. And uh, what our goal is, is that we have half the people in our church unsaved or unchurched. That means all of us are going to bring someone who doesn't know the Lord, okay? It could be a friend that you actually work with, someone God puts on your heart. It could be someone you just meet in the course of your day at a restaurant. It could be a waiter or a waitress. It could be a gas station attendant. It could be just somebody that, that, that you meet and, and you want to invite them to Friends Sunday. Uh, but the idea is to bring one to win one. Bring one to win one. And this is a church-wide thing. We're going to be doing this in our preschool. We're going to be doing this in our impact kids. We're going to be doing this in our impact students. And we're going to be doing it here among the adults. Bring one to win one. If I bring one to church, we're going to be praying for those people. We hope that you'll be praying for them. And we're going to believe God to rescue their soul on Sunday, October the 27th. We believe in God for a harvest of souls on that day. And what we'll be doing is fulfilling the great commission of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to go. Amen. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh, so Friends Sunday is going to be taking place throughout the entire, uh, the entire church at every level in all of our classrooms. Uh, we want to double the number of people in here. That means half of the people here have a potential to be saved. Uh, I don't know where this came from, but it seems to me when we've tracked numbers of first-time guests, it seems like God always saves at least 25% of the people we bring to church. So if we were to bring, let's say, 200 people to church, we're talking about 50 people getting saved that day. If we were to bring 300 people to church, 75 people getting saved. So we're talking about a harvest of souls. Uh, if you and I would just bring people to church on that day, we're going to believe God uh, for a wonderful harvest of souls that day. Going after the harvest, amen? Uh, uh, awakening in the city, right? Uh, after the service, we're going to enjoy a fun cookout. Uh, we're going to have hamburgers. We're going to have hot dogs, apple cider, games for the kids of all ages. We're going to have photo opportunities amidst pumpkin patches, bales of hay. Just going to pull out all the stops, have a great time, food, fun, fellowship, and most importantly, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So it's all about winning people to Jesus that day. Everybody say WPPI. Now you're going to need to learn what WPPI is because these are the four steps and they have the acronym WPPI, Friends Sundays, Bring One to Win One. Everyone, we want them to do four things, WPPI, number one, W stands for write the name of an unsaved or unchurched friend on a card. There's a couple thousand of them out there in the lobby. So just take this card, even today if you would, just take this card, I'm invited, and take a pen and just write the name of the person. You don't have to put your name, just I'm inviting so-and-so. Now these aren't people that you're hoping to be saved. These are people that you're planning to invite, okay? So we don't want 5,000 names up there and then five people come because we didn't invite the 4,995 people, right? So we're writing the names of the people who are, we're inviting. So I'm writing the neighbors and the other people that I'm inviting. That is write the name of the unsaved person. You put it on this card. Number two, you pin the card on the board in the lobby. If you came in, you saw a big uh, board out there. Uh, all you do is, you and you do this. We don't do this for you, you do it. This is you taking the, the pin and then bam, I'm inviting so-and-so. And you're poo, putting them up there. And then the second P, the third number is pray for them and we will too, okay? In fact, we're gonna hold two prayer meetings just for Friends Sunday, starting this Wednesday. Anyone can come, everyone can come. We'd love you to come. Wednesday upstairs in the Impact Kids, we're gonna be praying for Friends Sunday. We're praying for revival. We're praying for a move of God. We're praying for uh, your friends and my friends, that the God would open their heart, that the, the gospel would get in there. We're binding the devil from trying to keep them in bondage from the word of God. So we're gonna write the name of the unsaved on the card. We're gonna pin the card on the lobby after the service today and every service we come in, if we, if we 
think of another person that God puts on our heart we want to invite. We're going to put them up there. Number three, we're going to pray for them. You will too. We will too. Number four, then invite them to church. Give them a Friends Sunday invite card. So these things, we want you to grab several of these and every one that you put up of this, give that person one of these. Invite them to church. Just let them know, hey, my church is doing a Friends Sunday and uh, we'd love you to come and just be a part of it. It'll be a lot of fun. Bring the whole family. Everybody say WPPI. WPPI. And then there's going to be opportunities to serve on that day after church. Now, this isn't like Fall Fest. We've done it on Saturday. This is just right after church. So the, the main thing is the salvations. That's what we're after. But afterwards, we just want to have a good time with family, with friends. Uh, you know, I'm planning on getting a photo op, a photograph with the people that I'm inviting. At, we're going to have like three photo opportunities out there. Pumpkins and just bales of hay. And I'm planning on getting photo with those people that I'm invited just to kind of earmark the, the situation, give them a copy as well. These signups are on the forms out at the table where the small group signups used to be. Uh, and so feel free to sign up for those. Uh, you can see how many signups are needed for each, but we'll need people to sign up to decorate the wood logo wall out here. That's four people. Uh, set up the games. That's four people. Two people to grill. If you're a grill master, sign up for that. Uh, setting out the food tables and the condiments and all that on the food tables. Food cleanup a fall drink stand, pick up the hot apple, pick up the apple cider, set up the drink and stand. It gives instructions on, on everything on here, what to do. Uh, the popcorn stand, I don't know how to set it up, but I can sure scoop popcorn. <laughs> Setting up the bales of hay, laying out the picnic blankets on the bales of hay, building some areas out here for seating, all kinds of stuff. Setting up the photo op places, taking pictures, taking videos, uh, putting out the balloons, setting up the water baptism tank. We're gonna have a water baptism in that metal trough. Uh, afterwards, it's going to be a part of it also. Uh, if you want to help water baptize, if you want to help uh, set up the water baptism tank, take it down. It's all out there, uh, the general cleanup, bringing water bottles. We're wanting approximately 500 water bottles, one uh, water bottle per person. Uh, our goal is to have over 500 people here, or at least 500 people. So if we're doing 501, we met our goal, amen. Uh, but we want to bring people in here and have them hear the gospel.